And Professor Rao, uh, Venki just said that we need to develop our own IP, we need to focus more on science to cure so many of our problems like agriculture, like uh, medical issues. How competitive are we if we start focusing on science? Can we lead the world? Well, as we, as we are today, uh, there are a number of good individuals and a few, few good institutions in India, but in order to be able to compete with the present day world where other countries, particularly in the neighboring countries, which are coming up very much faster than we are, we have to do much more. We have to create institutions where very good young boys and girls can go and do competitive work. We need such institutions. Creating institutions is the way forward. Well, we have a few, but not enough. Not enough. We have, in fact, but we, we, have the, we have the raw talent. Oh, of course. To... There are very bright people available in India. Amazingly, a lot of our bright people are coming back from US and Europe now. It is not as if uh, they want to stay abroad. Our uh, salaries of scientists have improved. Condi other conditions are better, but except, well, we, are, we may be doing reasonably well. Others are doing better. Just, others I want are doing to ask more. you an embarrassing question. Will all these, do these institutions have to be in southern India? Because just looking no, no, at this no, panel, no, no. Well, I mean, you know, know, what's, that, there's a bit that, of a that bias here. That is not the case. You know, as you know, uh, in the last uh, few years, we have started five new institutes of uh, science education and research. They are very, very good science institutes. One north, one south, one in the center, uh, and uh, one in the west. So <laughs> all five places. It's not that. But so I think from Tamil Nadu, you'll go to all four, all the I, centers. I don't, I don't belong, belong to Tamil Nadu. <laughs> not to your Bangalore. I belong to a better place called Bangalore. Called Bangalore. Yes. Uh, where it's already <laughs> You're a You're a city. complete outsider. <laughs> No, I wanted to ask. Bangalore is a sort of a science Of course, city. it's wonderful. Uh, it is a historical thing. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, us today. But right. anyway, I tell you, mm -hmm. we have to compete with the rest of the world, there's no doubt. To be able to do work on problems of frontier nature, one. Second, work on problems related to the pressing problems of mankind, energy, water management. Some, these are very crucial for India. We have to do research of a competitive nature in these areas, I want, and we have to do that. I wanted to ask you on something you've said. Is there any molecular biology, science, that can stop idiotic statements from being made? <laughs> I no, said, we, that's going too far. No, no, that's no, expecting no, no. too I, much. <laughs> what I, I, uh, I, I do feel that, you know, we do make uh, decisions which are can be idiotic, can and that's what I, <laughs> yes. uh, I, I, I do not ascribe idiocy to any particular branch of uh, community. Way, scientists are not immune to idiocy. No, scientists scientists are not immune. Uh, no, no, all of us do Welcome that. Welcome to the, the Club of Economists. <laughs>